Good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Thursday, and it is Bill Day 157. It's Bill Day 157 on the construction schedule out at Villa Feliz, and today we're going to do a road trip. We're going to start out the morning by going to Santa Rosa Laguna. Uh, that's where a Wukan um, building supply company is, and uh, CW Home Depot is also very close by there as well. So there, that is the closest um, Vulcan that is uh, near where we are here in Lipa. Uh, there's another one down in Batanga City and we'll try that on another trip. Maybe we'll coordinate that with a, maybe a beach trip also because they do scuba diving down in Batanga City. Uh, so maybe we can do a, maybe even an overnighter down there. We'll see when we get to that point. Anyway, so I'm gonna get out uh, early this morning. It's very early. Oh, the clouds are the same as they were yesterday, but it is dry right now. And I hope it stays dry for the rest of the day because we need to get the roofing done on uh, Villa Feliz. So uh, we, I don't even think we're gonna start by going to the build site this morning. We're gonna go directly, uh, do, do the road trip and do a little bit of shopping. So anyway, uh, let's get started today. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. I forgot my umbrella. I have to get my umbrella. My umbrella. Hey, what are you doing in my house? What are you doing? What are you doing in my apartment? Hey, come on. Come on, Mark. we gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna lock you up inside here all by yourself. I'm gonna lock you up. No, no, Mark, you can't do that. You can't do that. Mark, no, you can't do that. Right, that's my, no, 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 no. No, 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 Mark, no, Mark, no, no. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, I have to go. Mark. Mark, leave my windows alone. Mark, leave the windows alone. It's okay. Come on, let's go, go, go. Go. <laughs> Morning, morning. Mark, ah, good morning. So anyway, here I am at the Wilcon and Santa Rosa Laguna, and I'm gonna see uh, what kind of supply that they have here in this branch of the, the Wilcon store. So anyway, I am here uh, in the ceramic tile department right now, and. I found something that would look great in the CR inside the basement. And it's a mixture of these different tiles that they have right here. I, there's three different textures. You could do a texture like this one right here, which is this guy right here. And that would be in the niche area uh, where the sink and the mirror goes, just like they have it here. 
and then an accent piece on the outside which would be this right here and then on the back where the toilet is and the the shelf behind the toilet you could use this type of stone this textured stone right here so i like this the only problem is they have they have everything except for this right here they don't have uh they had maybe about 15 of the tiles in stock they have one box and a few extra ones but they have some in some of the other stores and i'm trying to get them to do the order on that so uh, i think this is what we're going to go with and we're going to probably put a floor tile as a matter of fact he just brought out this tile right here and we might use this uh, for the floor top because this is a great example of, of what we're looking for inside uh, the CR inside the basement. So we got some tiles. I'm gonna bring these back. It's just a little after lunch and uh, see what's going on at the job site today. Hopefully it's as dry down there as it is up here. We got a lot of clouds, uh, but it really hasn't been raining up here. So uh, let's head back to Villa Feliz. Well, hey, let's kind of talk with what uh, what we're going to do for the grill out here. I spoke with my builder, and what we're going to do, we're going to put the grill in this area right here. There's going to be an outlet on the outside of here uh, for the electrical. So this electrical is also going to come and have an outside, uh, all weatherproof outlet on the outside here. And this is going to be enclosed. This whole area is going to be enclosed right here. And it's going to have a pebble finish. They they can uh, make a pebble finish with cement and pebbles and things like that, uh, so it'll look nice, look like a river stone kind of uh, um, stone finish. And then what we're going to do, this entire top up here is going to be a granite top. Uh, I looked at the granite tops right now. The ones that they have, they're about 23 inches deep. I need 21 inches for the uh, for the cutout, and that gives us an extra couple of inches. Uh, where it's going to be we'll have maybe about two inches back here of granite just sticking out in the back we'll have six six inches on this side and we don't have to worry about it on this side right here because we have plenty of room we need 21 inches from here to this area right here because of course the reason we're putting it over here is so that we don't melt our uh, upvc window frame so that'll be good so something else that we talked about is the security monitor we're going to have the CCTV inside the house, but we're going to have a monitor here. So that's what this is right here. This area is we have power and we have a uh, cable inside here for this. All the CCTV is going to, CCTV is going to go right here. There will be a monitor and then to the right over here we're going to have our PLDT telephone. And then up there is for the um, fiber modem and the fiber modem will go back inside this closet right here which is the control for everything inside the house something I, I spoke with my builder earlier but uh, it got overlooked for some reason so this section right here normally in a Philippine house uh, you're gonna have a water bib 
and you'll have a connection here and then you'll have the handheld hose that goes above. I said, we're gonna do this just like a, a Western house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna come over, embed it into the top. And this section right here is going to be way up here. And then we're gonna put a 90 degree elbow with a, a nice finished chrome cover and that will come down, we'll hook up the hose here, and then we'll put the rod inside here, and we'll use that for the, for the handheld for washing like that, and also for cleaning inside the shower. We also have over here, if we need a bib, we have a dual connection right here in, for the sink area. Uh, cold water and a secondary one if we want to put a water bib uh, in here as well, so we, we can have the best of both worlds. And the beginning of our sea perlin installation. Ah. So anyway, right now the sea perlin that they have on there, it is tack welded. It's, that's not the, per, the full installation. They will be putting some type of a bracket on there that will keep all the sea perlin at a 90 degree angle and we'll do additional support. And when they start doing that, uh, we'll take some pictures. I'll climb up there and uh, we'll take a look and see how it's actually attached to the, uh, the uh, angle iron up there. Let's not forget our guys over in the cistern. Let's kind of see what let's go see what they're doing over here today. Well, again, it is the end of the day, and uh, we'll do a quick wrap up of what got done here. I, I was gone half the day, over half the day, so I didn't get to see everything that was done, but you can see when we come back to the build site, you can see the things that have been done. A lot of plaster work today. You see in the main room, inside the great room right here, they're working on this wall right here. They're just cleaning it up because this is going to be a feature inside here. Uh, but they're they're starting with getting it cleaned up and then they'll do the build out for the framing for the tv and the uh, the lighting special lighting features of, but that will come later also one of the biggest focuses of attention today is inside the stairwell uh, remember all this would look like this over here uh, before but now they're doing the first uh, of the skim coat on this area right here and it will it looks rough now you can see it, very very rough looking but this is the first one remember they'll sand 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 we'll do three coats inside there and it'll look just like that beautiful finish down inside the basement and then on this side right here they are doing this is the the very first coat but that they, they finished it up there at the top and they're working their way down so i expect what did i say i said i thought it was going to take about two days for them to do that and that's probably tomorrow i think they will fin be finishing most of the stairwell portion at least from this portion right here and they will work on the this section here that hasn't got any of it done yet and they will work their way down to the the, the cr down in the basement speaking of that uh we got a lot of the tiles inside today that's what i picked up today when i was at Wolcon up in santa rosa and uh, laguna and uh, I showed that to my builder and he's gonna have his tile guy, his tile specialty guy, they will work on that. Uh, but I still have to pick up some more because they ran out of one of the tile uh, of the three that uh, different t types of tile that I uh, picked up today. And I didn't have enough of one of the accent pieces. So I will go back, mm, probably not tomorrow then, since they're not gonna be doing that for a week to two weeks. Uh, there's no priority on that right now, but I just hope that they have it in stock. Uh, one of the things they worked on today was oh here more of the the ceiling uh the drop ceiling for the dining room and a little bit inside the kitchen but most of it's inside the dining room right here also lots of skin coat uh, what was done in the this room right here you can see this is the the uh, bedroom number one 
and they were working on this today too. So we're starting to get uh, to finishing stages inside the bedroom areas as well. You saw also that they were uh, my builder worked on the uh, diverter controller valve inside here. But anyway, I, I inspected it and I was like, you know what, you got it opposite. <laughs> this right here, this top section right here, uh, this is for when you are the normal when you put turn the water on just like that. You turn the left to right for hot or cold and turn it on. It's going to go down straight. This would be normally meant for a bathtub. Uh, and this is not going to be a bathtub water spigot outlet here. Uh, so this is going to have to go to the shower instead of where it is right here. So it's going to go to the shower head where this is going right now. So I pointed that out to my builder. I had him pull the instructions and he's like, yeah, that's correct. We have to change this around. So this is going to end up flipping around and going inside the ceiling to the drop down uh, to the rain shower. And this one right here is going to, is, this is an easy fix. We'll just cut this pipe. And we'll go over to the side and that's going to be the handheld wand uh, uh, shower for you know doing this kind of number and also cleaning inside the shower as well uh, that that got done but he will be prepared for the next one that we have installed on the second floor uh, now that he knows how to uh, connect that up properly it pays to read the instructions uh, down in the basement uh, I don't think a lot of stuff got done in the basement today. M m the main focus was up on the roof, the roofing guys. You see that uh, on the truss system, they have the sea purlin uh, uh, started up there. Uh, and that's what I've been waiting on is the sea purlin. So uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see. And through all that, there's some sea purlin. You can see all the sea purlin. So they actually got started on that. Down in the basement, like I said, I don't think a lot got done down here in the basement. Now, it's the same old, same old, uh, but it, it's not going to be very much longer before we start getting all this cleaned up. You see, they, they, they're even putting the, the skim coat already. Ooh, that's still wet. Ooh. So they're starting to do the skim coat down here, and they'll finish up this wall here next to the, to the CR. And uh, we are slowly getting a finished stairwell from the basement all the way up to the second floor. All right, you be good. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You be good. i see you tomorrow. All right, well, Hot Pone's grabbing a bite to eat here uh, just before I leave, so he has his snack for the night. I'm going to take off for the evening. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. I might actually get some lomi at one of the lomi shops on the way back, and that way I don't have to cook dinner when I get home tonight. So, anyway, so even though I've been gone most of the day, I received a message from my chief of conscience jokes. I sometimes I don't get to read the comment section, and I don't get to read emails or private messages or anything like that. And I have a shout out, and the shout out is to Terry Dexter House. Terry Dexter House. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Terry. Finished. Wow. You finished? Is it good? Huh? Is that good? You, do you like that? Yes, that was good. I'll get you some more in the morning. So anyway, I'm going to close and I'm going to head home. And uh, tomorrow's another day. And I believe tomorrow's going to be build day 158. <laughs> it's built day 158 out here on the construction sketch of Ville Fleas. And I hope we have a good day for uh, roofing. That's the main priority. Roofing, roofing, roofing. And uh, and what else? Whether and whatever else goes on. We're into a lot of the finishing mode, plaster, skim coat, things like that. Uh, but it's starting to all come together and I'm glad. And anyway, so I'm gonna take off now and go grab a bite to eat. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you will get notified the next time I upload a new video. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day.